Hello and welcome to Communication Connection. I'm Terry Likes. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, as you may know, often on this program, we focus on the talented accomplishments of faculty or students. In this case, we're going to focus on an alum of the program, a graduate of the public relations concentration within the Department of Communication, who is currently MSU's Marketing and Communication Coordinator in the Office of Public Affairs. Please welcome Bethany Ship. Bethany, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me, Dr. Likes. You've had a tremendous career path since you left the program several years ago, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but public relations, when you were here at Mississippi State as an undergrad, it wasn't your first choice, but now you're working in this field. That is correct. I actually started out in biological sciences because I thought I wanted to be a physical therapist, but I did end up changing my major a couple of times. I had several friends who were communication majors here at MSU, and so I decided to explore the major myself, and I'm so glad that I did because I loved being a communication major here at Mississippi State, and I feel like it was a great use of my skill set. One thing that really attracted me to the field of public relations is that there is so much versatility with this degree. Every industry needs good communicators and that opens up such a wide array of opportunities for PR practitioners and I feel like the Department of Communication faculty is really invested in their students and I truly feel like they did an excellent job in preparing me for the future. Well, great. Well, we'll have to record that soundbite and use it in our promotional materials. Oh, please do. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, you, but you also have had a passion for many years for the field of dance, and that took you away from campus. Tell us about that passion and where it took you. Yes, well, I started dancing when I was three years old, and I've been trained in ballet, tap, jazz, and other forms. And when I was growing up, I was very passionate about dance, especially ballet. And I loved every aspect from the dance classes to performing on stage. But one part of it that was really special to me is that it led to so many other amazing opportunities. Uh, for example, I got to be Starkville's Junior Miss, and so I danced for my talent in that program. I danced for my talent in the Miss Mississippi pageants. I got to be on the Palm Squad at MSU my freshman year. I even got to go to Paris and dance in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle when I was in high school. So I'm really thankful for all of those opportunities and to my parents who supported me and encouraged me to pursue that dream for so many years. I also taught dance for a number of years here in Starkville and at my church in Orlando. I really enjoyed choreographing routines and just sharing that love of dance with the next generation. Well, you mentioned Orlando, so you had an opportunity that not many get, many would dream, and that's working at Walt Disney World in Orlando. Tell us about that. That is right. So when I was growing up, we used to take trips to Disney during spring break. And when I would go to the parks, I was just in awe of the parades and the shows. And I fell in love with the characters there. They made me feel so special as a child and created such memorable interactions. And that sparked a dream in me to want to be a performer at Disney myself one day. And so fast forward to my senior year of college and I realized it's now or never. So so I auditioned with Disney and was so excited to be chosen as a performer at Walt Disney World. So after I graduated from Mississippi State, I did move to Orlando and I worked in Disney Entertainment for over five years. I had the opportunity to perform in many meet and greet locations and parades and shows like the Celebrated Dream Come True Parade, Block Party Bash, the Main Street Electrical Parade. It was absolutely amazing getting to live out my dream on a daily basis. In fact, I remember calling my mom after one of my training days and I told her, I love this so much, I would do it for free. So it was definitely more than a job for me. I really treasure my memories there and I'm just so thankful God opened up that opportunity for me to go and I made some incredible friends along the way there at Disney and at my church in Orlando and they became like family to me and still are to this day. Well, there are certain opportunities that are somewhat once in a lifetime that you can do it fresh out of college. You probably wouldn't do it later. And so you took advantage of a wonderful opportunity and great memories. That's but after that, you mentioned five years doing that. You went to something else related to Disney, working with the vacation resort side of, of the Disney franchise. 
Correct. My next role at Disney was in guest service operations for Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa and Disney's Old Key West Resort. I served as a concierge, a trainer, a frontline service advisor, and in resort operations su support, so a variety of roles there. Uh, Disney actually was rolling out My Magic Plus at the time, and that included the Magic Bands and the new My Disney Experience app, so it was really um, interesting getting to be a part of that My milestone. It was exciting getting to communicate with guests on a daily basis about using that new technology. And I really enjoy just being able to continue to create magical moments for our guests in the resort roles and also refine my guest service skills. And so related to putting those PR and marketing skills to use as well. And then that led you to another stop in Florida by working as a marketing specialist with Florida Hospital. Correct. I'm very thankful for the experience I gained as a marketing senior specialist at Florida Hospital, which is now known as Advent Health. I primarily supported their imaging service line by developing and implementing consumer marketing plans. I also supported other service lines as well, like diabetes and women's care, lab care. And I worked on a variety of marketing projects from direct mail and ads to videos and collateral that was used for events and in the healthcare facilities. Uh, one project that was really special to me that I got to work on was our annual breast cancer awareness campaign. It meant a lot to me to have that opportunity to go into the community and encourage women to get their mammograms or to donate to Central Florida women in need of that health care. But I did represent my organization at numerous health fairs and other community events and I'm really thankful for all of that experience. Well, it's always great when you can put your expertise to use in a meaningful way. And so yes, that's absolutely. great. So three work experiences in Florida. Uh, for many people, that would be the destination. What is it that brought you back to Starkville and Mississippi State? Well, as much as I absolutely loved living in Florida, I really missed my family, which they live mostly here in Mississippi and in Tennessee. And so when I saw there was an opportunity open in marketing and communication at MSU, I just knew that I had to apply. So I was very excited to accept a position at Mississippi State and move back, not just to be close to my family here in Starkville, but also to have the chance to promote my university, which I dearly love. Well, that's wonderful. So you are a marketing and communication coordinator in the Office of Public Affairs. You're part of a great team. They have now rolled out a new branding campaign, taking care of what matters. But tell us more about what you do on a daily basis so we have a better understanding. Sure, so I get to work on a variety of projects and content that covers so many aspects of MSU. One thing I love about my role is that I get to share stories from across the university and we have so many great stories to share about the amazing ways that our students and faculty, staff, even alumni are making an impact, not just at MSU, but even globally. I've had the opportunity to work on a lot of fun video projects, including including some of our national television commercials. Um, I've worked on digital advertising campaigns, student features, and other content that's used on landing pages, social media, and other communication channels. It's been really special to me as an alum to return to MSU and get to see and interact with some of the same professors I had when I was a student here. Um, MSU is incredibly special to me, so it's meant a lot to me to have the opportunity to return here and serve my alma mater in this capacity. I know you get to interact with some of the current public relations students, and in some ways you are able to do that through an activity outside of campus but related to what you do, and that is with the Starkville chapter of the PR Association of Mississippi. It's a nice organization. You have wonderful events. Students can come and get involved and tell us about because you're an officer in that organization. Yes, well I'm very thankful for my experience with the Public Relations Association of Mississippi and to my supervisor, Checky Harrington, who encouraged me to get involved when I first moved back to Starkville. Uh, this organization has really supported my professional development by giving me the chance to hear from some truly dynamic speakers in the field at our monthly chapter meetings and at conferences. Uh, networking is very key in public relations and PRAM has helped me develop connections all across the state, which has been amazing. Amazing. And it's also helped me develop my leadership skills through serving on the board of directors, especially this year since I'm serving as chapter president. 
Well, it's certainly a, a pinnacle as far as being a president within an organization like that. And I'll draw the attention to it. You've also won awards as part of your work uh, through PRAM, uh, the state organization. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. I know you're part of a talented team, and many of these projects involve a team approach. Yes, that is correct. I have had the privilege to be part of a team and work on projects that have won almost 40 awards at the state, regional, national, even international level. Um, but working on the case studies to submit to these award programs has really helped me better understand the four-step PR process, which is known as RPI, research, planning, implementation, and evaluation. So going through this process, through working on these award submissions, has really helped me think more strategically about my work. And then the feedback that we get from the judges is really helpful for refining projects and even making future projects more successful. So I've benefited a lot from entering awards and I would highly encourage any PR student or professional to enter into award programs as well. I know you haven't had direct involvement with all of the inner workings of the major rebranding of the university, but it's certainly a, a big step as far as the evolution of the university at this time. That is correct, yes, it certainly is. And it's really exciting to get to work for the Office of Public Affairs during this time, and which has a key role in leading out on branding initiatives. And I'm just thankful to be part of the team and get to be part of that experience. Well, you are able to work with students on occasion in your office and what you do on a daily basis. And as I mentioned, through PRAM, and sometimes you, you are able to go, I know, to talk to, let's say, the, the PR Student Association, the student chapter. What advice do you have for students? I know you like to give back. I do. Well, I like to tell them that your journey doesn't have to look like anyone else's path. I certainly took a career detour myself when I went to Disney, and even though it wasn't a public relations job per se, it was still such a great experience and gave me wonderful foundational foundational skills. So I like to tell them, be open to opportunities and just take that courageous step to pursue your dream. And when you get there, don't forget to give back and invest in the generations that are coming up after you because you never know when just one conversation can change the trajectory of someone's path. And I would also like to add that I'm really thankful for all the opportunities that I've had and to the people who've invested in me along my journey. And I'll, I'll always be grateful for the foundation that my education at Mississippi State provided for me. Well, we greatly appreciate you giving back, and we're thankful for having you here on Communication thank Connection. You. So, Bethany Ship, our guest, we greatly appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. The and honor we'll look, is mine. We'll look forward to seeing more great things from the Office of Public Affairs. Yes. Well, I'm Terry Likes. Thank you so much for joining us here on Communication Connection. We hope to see you here next time.